you maria for speaking to arvin reseller nice having you with us today thank you very much for having me and uh, pleasure pleasure being part of of this interview thank you we would like to start with a brief about one connect dubai 2024 how is it significant in shaping the future of cyber security So uh, uh, One Connect uh, Dubai this year was our flagship event uh, in the UAE. Uh, we did it in collaboration with IDC uh, and uh, AWS. Um, it is a space for us to discuss the, the latest trends that we see in the Middle East. So all the cybersecurity trends, we, we're not looking at it only from a portfolio and products perspective. Uh, it's uh, it's more getting together with our customers and strategic partners and alliances and looking at how the technology is changing, how the cybersecurity is changing. Uh, we're looking at the threats, uh, um, all all the emerging threats that we see in the Middle East. Uh, we talked a lot this year about the threat actors that we see uh, in the world, but also very specific to uh, to the Middle uh, Middle East um, um, area. Uh, we look at, uh, so while we are analyzing what is going on from a threat perspective, we are also sharing with uh, with our customers strategies around what they can do to increase their uh, resilience uh, and cyber resilience. Uh, we did something that's very interesting this year. Uh, it was all about a workshop where we delivered a, a kill chain uh, analysis, very interactive session. So everyone had to work in groups. Uh, and we had different people thinking about the th threats in in a different way uh, and looking at uh, practically attack remediation paths that they could take. It was impressive to see how people had different strategies, uh, uh, different interpretation of uh, of risk and how they came back and then offered solutions that they think are the best um, to lead with. So that was one of uh, one of the things that we we introduced uh, this time in uh, in OneCon, and I thought I thought it was a very good exercise. Um, and then we also discussed the future of uh, of cybersecurity uh, with AI. Um, goes without saying. So we shared also um, our latest and 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 greatest innovations. We shared the vision that Sentinel One has on cybersecurity. And we discussed as well our roadmap with uh, with our customers. Uh, we're coming up with um, uh, many many uh, solutions uh, as we speak, and we're launching uh, many new solutions for customers um, to encourage the automation, encourage encourage them to use AI uh, in their cybersecurity. And uh, and everything that we did this this time was around the autonomous SOC, which is the next gen SOC um, technology that we that we launched. Okay, you briefly mentioned AI and autonomous uh, SOC as well. What sort of uh, role do these technologies play in modern uh, strategies for cybersecurity? That's a that's a very good question. So we we know that now whether cyber or non cyber, AI is a core, right? So uh, all the the companies are adopting uh, AI. Whether we're looking at companies that are in IT, whether we're looking at companies that are in Uh, banking, whether whether it's it's uh, um, it's companies that are in services, so AI is becoming a very very big pillar. For Sentinel One, uh, our Purple AI is practically an advanced uh, AI security module uh, and and an analyst that helps uh, in automating the threat detection and response. So that's that's what the technology does. So what we do is we give the possibility of uh, to uh, secops to automate all the processes by which they go and uh, and do the investigation process uh, it is simple to use uh, and that's a game changer because you can give the best technologies for customers but if they're complex then uh, there is a problem in uh, using the technology and if it is not usable it's it's not uh, it's not answering uh, the requirements of the customers For Purple AI, what we do is we give the possibility and we empower the analyst to use simple language and conversational uh, uh, language in this case to deal with the data, analyze the data and come back with actionables and do the thread hunting uh, uh, on the go. If you look at what we announced as, uh, as the new Purple AI, uh, we are using that technology to empower our new uh, next gen uh, SOC and uh, autonomous SOC. Um, and what this unlocks is uh, delivering an advanced alert triage that enables the customers to put priority on what are the top alerts, um, understand uh, what are the false positives, 
uh, decrease that number of uh, false positives and then look at uh, look at basically an assessment of all the alerts that we see globally and through through that analysis it allows us to understand what are the alerts that are top priority um it also helps us with the analysts because what happens is when you do the proper analysis of the alerts what happens is you drop the number of of those alerts, um, helping with um, uh, the fatigue and decision uh, fatigues and alert fatigue, uh, you give back time to to the analysts. That today, what they do is uh, um, they spend less time in delivering queries and building queries, and much more time in uh, doing the the tasks that they should be doing, uh, taking their their job uh, to to the next level as well. So that's that's from an AI perspective, but if we look at it from um, um, hyper automation, now we can we can do all these analysis, thread hunting, etc. But if we don't insert a level of automation, that becomes very heavy, right? Uh, if the analysis is done manually, etc., it's it's also very heavy. So what we in what we uh, what we released is uh, singularity hyper automation. This is a platform that is a new intelligent and no-code platform that is built on top of our Singularity platform. It allows um, a rapid deployment of the technology, and it also allows us to automate the response and the thread hunting uh, for for our customers. So when when we look at when we look at our customers, what they require today, basically they they look at us for specific use cases that they have. So when we look at the mitigation of uh, of uh, ransomware, when we look at uh, uh, certain thread hunting activities, etc. What they want, they want first um, easy way of doing it. Uh, we've been talking to a lot of customers, and one thing that they've been uh, sharing with us is it's very complex for their analysts to find the right query and develop the right query and have the right results. Now they can do it in seconds, and then they can have reports on that. They can actually save it in uh, in notebooks that they can share with the different team members. Uh, and what they can do out of uh, out of that is they can definitely uh, be able to create also an environment of collaboration uh, that saves time, effort, and and cost for our customers. Okay. In terms of the journey of adopting generative AI and uh, hyper automation, do you see any challenges that companies face when you speak to them, and how do you help them overcome those? So when when we look at uh, when we look at customers. Uh, they are looking for what is the right technology. So yesterday we were talking to uh, strategic accounts and uh, what he shared with us is, Maryam, we've, we've been following uh, companies that are into AI and we're very interested to adopt these technologies. The problem is that there are so many and we have to make the right choice of you know what is the best platform. Now, when we we're, when we're talking to these customers, um, um, we, we're, we're referring back to three main points. So we're looking at the AI as being a base of the technology that they're adopting. And they understand that uh, that Sentinel-1 is a platform that was built from the beginning on AI and that does AI analysis uh, for all the threat hunting uh, capabilities. Um, the second part is the ability to actually store that data in one place and then converge it into uh, into one one place so that the analysis is done uh, at once uh, and the actions are actually correlated. And then the third part is the automation because you can have as much intelligence and as much tooling, but if you, you don't do it in a smart way and if you don't uh, empower the customers with this automation, then there is not much that come uh, that comes out of out of uh, these adoptions. So we've been we've been talking a lot to customers about the ability of Sentinel One Singularity platform to do all of the above, the AI uh, empower uh, also the 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 analyst and the the sec op with AI, and also the ability to actually now drive uh, uh, with with automation is a game changer for for them. And they've been they've been welcoming this idea. And uh, Black Hat is coming up very soon. So what sort of plans do you have for the event and what will be your focus points? So fant fantastic. So Bla Black Hat is, is always an opportunity for us to meet amazing people, right? So we we learn a lot uh, as, as vendors. We, we go there and we meet our customers and partners. We learn a lot from them. Uh, but we also learn from companies uh, and other vendors that come with the latest technologies, companies that sometimes we integrate with and others that we don't, but uh, we learn from their experience. We, we learn uh, from how they, 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 um, 
enter into markets, uh, difficult markets. Uh, so it, it is a, an amazing uh, uh, opportunity for us to meet with cybersecurity professionals and also decision makers at uh, at customers, but also um, ex build excellent alliances as well uh, as we move forward. It is also a medium for us to lead with our AI driven approach and, and see how that aligns with the uh, with the vision, uh, uh, the kingdom's vision, twenty thirty. So it it's uh, it's an eye opener when you look at what are the mandates and and how the customers are adopting that vision. It's it's incredible, and it's it's such a pleasure to be part of of that vision and and uh, and drive it with with our uh, our approach. Uh, and during uh, uh, Mia Black Hat, so what what we do is we make sure that uh, we also launch some of the innovations that uh, that we've been talking about, maybe in one con one con uh, US 2024. Uh, we've launched the autonomous uh, uh, SOC. We've launched uh, multiple innovations, and it is a medium for us to go back and then share with our customers um, some of these innovations. Uh, we drive a lot of uh, a lot of. Uh, demos for our customers for them to be able to touch the technology and see it live um, and lately we've also integrated a new concept of uh, um, man versus machine and we call it now mortal versus machine where we get someone from the crowd to actually do thread hunting with simplified queries and and simple language queries uh, we sometimes even bring people that are not from the cyber, uh, from the cybersecurity, or people that are not from the the SecOps, and we give them the ability to query the data and understand what are the threats uh, that we see, and and be able to take an action uh, automatically. So, we 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 share the capabilities that we have in terms of thread hunting and AI, etc. But we also um, um, get to spend time to listen to the customers and see what they think are their challenges in cybersecurity, how, how we can actually be part of their strategy, what we can do. Uh, and in a lot of cases, the customers are not aware of all our innovation. So it's a good, it's a good place where we can discuss that. And it's an eye opener for, uh, for, for both parties. Uh, thank you, Marie, for speaking to us. Nice having you with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.